Good morning. Morning. We are still at Norbury Junction. I've been here a couple of days and it's my favourite busy mooring. Yes, and it's I, very busy. I don't do busy moorings. There's lots of boats, dozens and dozens. I would say probably nearly 100 boats altogether. Yeah. If not more. Uh, but it's really nice. It's friendly and quiet. And there's a guy with an owl. Yes, it were ace. That is so cool. Uh, but we're leaving today. Uh, we're going further south on the Shroppy. Uh, not much of the Shroppy left. No, there isn't. We stood just by Bridge One. Uh, the reason it's called Norbury Junction is there used to be a junction here, and this used to be the Newport branch, which used to go down towards Shrewsbury. And when you look at the old branch, because it's not in use anymore, it was closed in 1944, uh, but when you look at it from the air, you can actually still see the old roots of the canal. There used to be 17 locks that went down towards Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury, I don't know, Shrewsbury. Strawberry. Whatever. Strawberry. <laughs> uh, but today we're heading south again, so we're leaving Norbury Junction, going towards. Come on, then, pronunciation police. I've got a challenge for you. Ha! It's spelled G N O S A W -L, L. There you go. We'll tell you when we get there. <laughs> Oh, we've had a cup of coffee and a warm, and we just got scared by a yappy dog. <laughs> Let me jump. The Saint to Sean, oh, the, look at that lovely 40, it was like the back, the end mooring on the 48 hour moorings. And I was just saying to Sean, we should have moored there right at the very end, but like right opposite is a little one of them little dogs, what are they called? Pain in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's like, no. Uh, so we've left Nobury Junction, we're now on Shellmore Embankment. It looks pretty boring, doesn't it? No. This Gosh. is the reason that the Shropshire Union Canal was delayed opening. All oh, right. The rest of it was finished. But they kept building this embankment and it kept falling down again. And it got to like 1834 and everybody's like waiting to go. And Thomas Telford, he was quite an old man by then, he was dying in fact, he was deaf and frail. And, uh, and he came up with his, his deputy, William Cubitt. I wonder if he's got an uncle called Rubix. <laughs> Rubix Cubitt! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and they finally got it fixed, but unfortunately, Thomas Telford died before they opened the canal. That's a bit sad, isn't it? That's very sad actually, yeah. So this is the reason that Thomas Telford died without seeing it opening. Oh. Oh. That's sad, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I want actually. some chocolate now. Yay, chocolate! Right then, pronunciation police. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you've all been having a go at me over Church Mincy and Eard Wigs Bridge. 
Uh, so we're in a new place and it's spelled G-N-O-S-A-L-L. -L. Come on then. No. No. You know, but you've been here. That's that's different. Right, come on. G-N-O-S-A-L-L. -L. Gnosal. No. <laughs> come on. Gnu. It's nothing to do with gnu. Gnusal. <laughs> Gnusal. Uh, nosal, as in nose and zul. Or nose and hull. Yeah. Nosal. Nosal. It's really nice here. Yeah. And it's this, it's this, it's like a little town, villagey type thing. And there's a couple of shops and there's a laundrette and there's a nice pub just behind you. And there's like tons of moorings. It's like there's more moorings than there are people in this village. <laughs> yeah, true. Which is weird. Uh, there's like a really shady area which we just came through. There's this part where there's a couple of water points. Uh, and then there's another one just after the bridge there. Uh, when we came yesterday, there were, everybody had the generators on. So we moored back there where it was a bit quiet. It was like a farmyard. It was. <laughs> but it is a really nice place there. We stopped to get some stuff from the shop and to use the laundrette. Uh, we're getting some water, and then we're off again. Yes! Gnu. Gnu. Somebody has just nearly fell in the canal. I did go in the canal. <laughs> Is it all up my back? Yes, it's all up your back. All the mud. Soggy feet. At least that train is clean now. <laughs> yeah. And that was Gnossal. <laughs> Gnu. Gnu. <laughs> uh, that was Nosal. Uh, really nice. Mud, the, the towpaths, very muddy. Uh, which, I mean, a lot of it is at this time of year. It's January. I mean, come on. But and it's overused as well. Overused as well. Yeah, some of it is really muddy. But I'm going to have to hold on to you. This is just too exciting. We're approaching. Sorry. We're approaching. You all right? The yeah. only tunnel on the Shroppy. Yes. All 81 yards. <laughs> 81 yards of the Cowley Tunnel. Come on, 80 yards. <laughs> we've done, I mean, we've done Standish Tunnel. This is a bridge. Yeah, it's a bridge. This is, I mean, let's count how long it takes us to get through Cowley Tunnel Bridge just outside Ganossal, Gnu. <laughs> I'm going to go get some party poppers. Yay! Well, I'm regretting buying party poppers for that now. <laughs> All 38 seconds of the Cowley Tunnel. Tell you some motorway bridges are longer than that. <laughs> oh well, that's our excitement for the day. Yeah, we'll put uh, kettle on now. So we're going through this this cutting uh, again. It's cuttings and embankments, cuttings and embankments uh, all the way down from Nantwich down towards the end of the Shroppy. Uh, we're coming up to uh, Chamberlain's Cover. That sounds like some uh, some scandal from 1960s politicians, and <laughs> like the like the Profumo affair and <laughs> Chamberlain's Cover. <laughs> Or Harry, no, Harry Potter and the Chamberlain's cover. Oh yeah. If my teeth are a bit weird, it's because we're eating malt loaf. Oh. You want so? Like a bit of malt loaf with butter on it. <coughs> uh, so this is Chamberlain's Covert. Covert means thicket. As you can see, I'm pointing at the trees and stuff. It's like a thicket. Malt loaf. <laughs> Do 
Cheers. As you come under Bridge 26, the turnover bridge brings you into Lord Talbot's Wharf, which is this place, all these private moorings. Quite nice as well. Uh, the next bridge, 25, uh, takes us to High On. O N N, Ot -n -n -n. Uh, There's a couple of old wharf buildings uh, on your starboard side as you go in south. And one of them's been converted to a house, and it used to be owned by Cadbury many years ago. That's the Ooh. second. <laughs> Used to be. We have a theme here, chocolate. <laughs> As you come out of Rye Hill Cutting, just on your right hand side, there's a farm. And it doesn't look like anything special if you look at it so kind of when you pass it from the road. But we sent the drone up and you get a better idea of, of its history. It used to be World War II airfield and there was a squad of Oxfords. Oxfords? Yeah, I'm guessing aeroplanes and not shirts. <laughs> it got me reading, you know what I'm like, I like a bit, I like a bit of a story and apparently an American aircraft crashed into the canal near it. I was looking out for where it happened, but I think they must have fished it out by now. <laughs> CRT are getting a little bit keen, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> and then as you come into Wheaton Aston, uh, there's one lock, and it's like the only lock in 25 miles, which we'll get to in a little bit. And during the war, uh, an Arab boat was carrying aluminium sheets on the boat, and the reflection caught the eye of a German bomber oh, and it right. got bombed. Since you last saw us, we've been to sleep. You laughed first time we did that. <laughs> well, I've been to sleep twice. I went for a run last night and I had a bit. Out well, for the count on the sofa. Well, tipping point we're on. Uh, so, we came into and slept over at, and have now left, Wheaton Aston. Uh, so called named because apparently it was the best wheat and hay in, in the country. Not anymore, I don't think. <laughs> uh, the thing is, I don't know if you're the same, if you're a boater, if you're the same, but I always kind of check where the moorings are going to be ahead, so I have an idea of where we're going to moor up. Sometimes look at them on Google Earth as well to make sure they're all right. And we always seem to like moor up, and it's not very good, like, like barking dogs or generators or, I don't know, screaming, whatever. No, <laughs> it, it would, yeah, anyway. Oh, we hit something, then underneath. Some, uh, it's probably the spice screaming, isn't it? <laughs> And the thing is, it's like not an enjoyable night, and then you kind of set off next morning, and two minutes further ahead, it's like, oh, we could have mowed there, that's nice. I think that were his brother. I think it's a bit shallow. Yeah. Just after Stretton Aqueduct, 
is Belvide Reservoir. It was built in 1833 to feed the Shropshire Union Canal with its water supply. Now it's still got all its original valve gear and it controls the flow of the water from the reservoir into the canal. It's about 180 acres, holds two and a quarter million cubic meters of water and it's fed from the River Penk. Join us at a critical moment when Sean is trying to pass our six foot ten bow through a 26 foot wide gap <laughs> under a bridge. <laughs> Lie! <laughs> uh, this is Brood. Uh, this is another one for the pronunciation police, uh, spelt B R E W O O D. So you would think it's Breewood or Braywood, but no, it's Brood. Brood. And at the moment, it's very loud with chainsaws. That would be embarrassing if I was shouting and it stopped, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'd be cutting the trees down. <laughs> Which is why we're not mooring here. <laughs> it's full anyway. Uh, this is brood visitor moorings. Uh, we did plan to moor here, but yeah, as Sean says it's full. And we don't fancy sharing the rest of the day with the chainsaw gang. You know when you find that really nice mooring spot? We found it! Middle of nowhere, we can see one boat in the distance, but it looks like it's all wrapped up for winter. Yes. Uh, we're between bridges seven and eight, Hunters Bridge and Park Bridge, just after Chillington Wharf. Chillington Wharf, it sounds like Rillington Place, or is it Rimmington Place where that murders were? Oh, I don't know. I can't anyway, remember. Chillington. Uh, and it's really nice. We're a couple of miles away from where the canal goes under the M54 motorway or above, I don't know, we haven't got there yet, I would imagine it's below. <laughs> and you can just hear it, but that's because we're kind of northeast of it and it's a southwesterly wind today, so I'm not surprised we can hear it. But it's like not noisy, shh, can you hear it? You can just hear the wind, can't you? Don't there do you babble! Go. So, sorry, <laughs> over to you. <laughs> we're here, <laughs> done. <laughs> so it's a really nice morning and we're only about an hour away from the end of the shroppy. Then we've got a decision to make. It comes out onto the junction with the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal, so do we go left up to Stafford, right down to Worcester, or kind of right and then left, down the Wolver sorry, up the Wolverhampton Locks, nearly. Nearly. Nearly had them on me then. Towards the Birmingham Canals. What do you reckon? What do you I'm asking you? What I don't know. Spitting. <laughs> <laughs> Let them tell us. Yes. Yeah. We'll take no notice. Tell, <laughs> tell us where you want us to go, even though we're probably three weeks ahead of where you're already telling us. <laughs> we've probably already gone down there. Uh, so we're going to stay here for a few days and chill. We've had a manic few days getting down here, so we're going to rest for a couple of three days and then uh, make our... I nearly told them where we were going then. Yeah. And then make our way towards wherever we're going. Yeah. Uh, if you've liked the vlog... Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Any comments, uh, if you want to... Tell us where you want us to go, not literally, <laughs> and uh, leave your comments or feedback or questions or anything else down there. Yes. 
uh, the best thing you can do is subscribe to the channel uh, just click that link down there that is pressing and then hit the notifications bell and YouTube will let you know every time we release a new vlog if you want to become a member of our channel just click the join button next to the subscribe button loads of perks and stuff there for you to have a look at or you can do it the old-fashioned way and join us on patreon anything else this outro seems to get longer every it's getting time, longer it? and longer so i'm gonna go put the dinner on <laughs> see you later bye 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 i've got to do that instead I, i'm not doing it all again just for that norbury junction 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 i'm not drunk <laughs> covered in fluff look like a scruff covered in fluff bogey check oh my lord Is your there? brains are falling out uh, as we approach bridge 26, I think it's 26. Yay! <laughs> Let's start that one again. We had to stock, so we're in the middle of nowhere, and somebody just asked, Oh, are you two that does the YouTube videos? <laughs> and it right. got bombed. Or as the seller say on hello, hello, it got bombed. Boom! Good moaning. That'll be cut out. I was just pissing by. And that. Right. Sorry, there's some up flapping. Oh, stop flapping. Sorry about this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>